With the war in Ukraine front and center as world leaders met in Munich, South Korea's foreign minister highlighted the impact on the Korean peninsula, where tensions are once again rising. Russia's armed attack on Ukraine and the global attention on the war in Europe are, as, as we witness, uh, emboldening Kim Jong-un regime. Earlier in the day, North Korea fired a suspected intercontinental ballistic missile off its east coast, one thought to be capable of reaching the United States. Japanese officials say this missile has the potential to fly as far as 14,000 kilometers, enough to reach anywhere on the U.S. mainland. But because it was fired at a high angle, it plunged into waters inside Japan's exclusive economic zone. North Korea typically fires long-range missiles almost straight up so that they don't fly over its neighbors' territories. This is uh, yet again uh, a uh, provocative act by uh, North Korea. On the sidelines of the Munich Security Conference, the U.S. Secretary of State condemned the launch as a violation of U.N. Security Council resolutions that ban North Korea's ballistic missile and nuclear weapons programs. We call on uh, others to condemn this action, to take uh, appropriate steps, including the uh, effective enforcement of sanctions. North Korea showed off its military muscle at a massive parade last week. And Saturday's test comes one day after it threatened an unprecedented response to upcoming military drills by South Korea and the U.S. If North Korea conducts the seventh nuclear test, which could happen at any time, it will be a game changer in a sense that North Korea could develop and deploy tactical nuclear missiles. Defense officials from both South Korea and the U.S. are expected to hold nuclear tabletop drills next week at the Pentagon. Now, while Washington says the latest launch did not pose an immediate threat to the U.S. or its allies, it does, however, needlessly raise tensions and risks destabilizing the security situation in the region. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.